I was burned in a car accident when I was 22 months old. Uh, my, my family was on the first vacation we'd ever been on as a family. And we were stopped at a toll booth and a truck, a huge semi, hit the line of cars that we were in as we were stopped at the toll booth paying our toll. Um, it was about a seven car accident. I was the worst one injured in the accident. I was burned over 88% of my body, lost all my fingers, um, lost all but one toe, and um, doctors gave me a 10% chance at living. Um, to the power of prayer and the skilled hands of the doctors, God working through the skilled hands of the doctors, um, after four and a half months of fighting for my life, I died. No, I didn't die, I, I lived. Um, I, I survived and I was finally released to go home. Um, but, and, the, and usually this is the point in the story where a lot of people breathe a sigh of relief, you know, they went to Disney World, that kind of thing. Uh, but really, uh, this is where my real memory picks up. I came home from the hospital and my life was full of bandages and dressings and pain and physical and emotional pain. My life was full of anger and rage. But my, my parents r really pushed me to get out of my comfort zone. They would put me in a mall when I was very young and they would tell me to say hi to everybody that passed by and smile. They wanted me as a young child to face head on uh, what will become more of a norm in my life. It wasn't until I received Jesus did I see that as an opportunity. I grew up in a very, very small town in North Carolina called Montreat, North Carolina. It was a really uh, wonderful place. I was able to excel in sports. I was able to excel in school. I went to seminary. I became an itinerant speaker around the world, literally. Um, I wrote a book, um, traveled everywhere. And one of the places that I traveled was here to Calvary Chapel in Fort Lauderdale. I met up with Pastor Bob. God took over in our meeting and one thing led to another and there was a opportunity for me to come down here. So it was a natural fit that I started working with King's Kids, people with special needs. We've grown to probably 200 families, about 60 of which come on a week to week basis we teach them God's word. You know, God's word says it never returns void. So it doesn't say, oh yeah, and it returns void with kids with special needs. No, it says it never returns void. So our job is to keep the kids safe and to teach them God's word in a loving environment. Just being here has opened doors that we may not have necessarily looked at. It's been really a blessing for our family. There is an a day that goes by uh, during church service that I don't meet, meet a kid that goes, what happened to you? And I go, I was burned in a car accident with a lot of fire and God saved me. How cool is that? There are real things out in life that you have to confront and that you have to deal with. And the great thing is God can help you through those things. He can carry you through those things. I met my wife speaking, believe it or not, down in Colombia. What happens after you get done speaking, a lot of people come up to you and talk, want to talk to you, ask you questions. And she says, hi, my name is Maria. I'm a doctor here in Colombia. And I'm like, great. Can you help me translate? And the next year, as I was volunteering there, they told me that Joel was coming back. And I was like, oh. Right. So that's when I got to know her better and we started talking on Skype. And that's when that friendship 
slowly began to develop into something more. God just kept giving me verses, you know, that were for me confirmations. A year went by and we were married. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Lo and behold, you know, things happen when you get married. To see her embody literally my characteristics has been life-changing. The Lord in His divine, um, in His divine nature um, doesn't create accidents. He um, plans and purposes all things to work for good for those that love Him.